Hyper OS 3 is out for me at all devices. Yes. Now, are there bugs? Yes. Is it manageable? Also yes. Welcome to another video, you guys. This is Hyper OS 3 for me at all devices. And I've got it here for you guys to see. Now, first things first, this custom ROM kind of makes my phone look bigger. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me though. Now, it's Chinese, that's why you can see all those, you know, chin on chin and all of that there. So, if you go to my device, you see Hyper OS 3 and it's for Joyous, Miato, and it's also out for, it's based on Android 16, I mean, you see that in a bit. Now, this custom ROM took a bit of work because flashing it was not easy. So, this is an initial build and honestly speaking, I did not expect it to work. Because, you know, initial builds most times, you have a lot of bugs. And this one certainly has some bugs, but they're the kind of bugs that are manageable. Now, let's go into the video proper. This custom ROM is not as stable as you might want it to be. This Hyper OS 3, it's heavy. Anything new UI Hyper OS is usually heavy. Now, if you look at the home settings, there's something I noticed. Double tap to lock screen. Now, one bug. It's not like it doesn't work. It actually works. But the problem is, when you click on your lock screen, you have your power button, it takes about 2 seconds before the lock screen will come up and then you put in your password and you are in the system. Yeah, it might not count as a bug to you guys, but for me, I expect my phone to respond immediately I click on my power button. But then like I said again, it's a manageable bug. Like if you scroll up, you can spoof as a high-end device and you've got a lot of beautiful things you can explore by yourself. Okay? now. Widgets are also available. I'm not connected to the internet right now, but you see the ones I have on my screen, how beautiful they are. You have access to lots and lots of widgets. Now, go into settings now, okay? And if you scroll up, you see a couple of things, the usual thingies, the usual uh, settings and all of that. Nothing special. But where you actually have the special things, is in that, is it Neglas? What do you call it? Yeah, this is where you have your features, extra features and all of that in case you want to do some sweet things. You also have sound effects. This one gives you regular sound effects plus, you know, uh, Viper sound effects. So you are covered if you want some serious heavy basing and all of that. Now, if you go back a little bit, you'll see that you can even do a lot more things, okay, with that part of it. Now, there are some other things I feel like I should let you know. The audio, here is a bit janky yeah kind of now let's check out ringtones you know how i am when it comes to ringtones i have to make sure that it works now it works listen it's work like it doesn't work but when you install this room for the first time and you Check out a lot of things, it's gonna be hard. You are going to have to reboot for you to actually enjoy it. Now, coming back to this retro app, you will not be able to play a song that you put on your phone. Yeah, I know it sounds silly, but truly, that's it there. I'm literally trying to play Renova Kyoto Station, you know, one of the um, non licensed apps that you get from uh, YouTube Music. and. It's nothing playing. Hyperland there shows that I'm actually, you know, playing something. Yes, but you will not be able to actually get anything played. But if you go to Spotify though, you can play things from Spotify. You can play things from uh, YouTube, anywhere else. But when it comes down to this, you know, I don't know, songs you have on your phone, that's another issue. Now, another thing now is that you cannot connect your phone to your PC. Your PC will just end up charging your phone. But you can use your um, your flash drive in case you have an OTD flash drive or whatever, you can use it. So towards the end of the video, I will list out all the bugs that are there so that you can you can see it for yourself so, and then you can be the judge if you want to keep using it or not. Now under the status bar, you have a couple of cool things that you can actually do. Look at my battery, you can even change your date style and all of that. I can even set my icons, I put mine on 5G so yeah, <laughs> whatever. Now your clock background, you can change it here. You can see the way mine is changing, with the way I'm changing the clock backgrounds and all of that. It's pretty cool. Even your Wi-Fi icons, you can put whatever Wi-Fi icons you want. 
your mobile data icons whatever ones you want even battery i'm currently using the one for ios so i i think i'm in the clear i don't have a problem with that so do you think you can use this from eh, yes you can is this stable let me just say on a scale of 1 to 100 i'll put it at 69 yes it sounds weird but it's 69 let's check out the camera i was able to install gcam because camera app didn't come with this and for camera taking photos it works but when it comes to video well we have a green line green screen and uh yeah i'm just wasting my time there nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna show nothing's gonna show yeah even says couldn't play that song so you couldn't play the song that is why I said it is not up to 70% stable because I mean, what will you do if you cannot actually, you know, record videos? And another thing again is the uh, voice recorder application. Okay, when you try to use it, you are wasting your time. Okay, you are wasting your time. Now, the ROM is not bad. Just for fun, as a sandbox, you know, just to test out your modding device. And yes, you are good to go. You don't have a problem at all. So, the ROM is okay. If you can deal with the bugs, all well and good. Now for the recording app, you see the way I'm trying to reduce whether I'm trying to record my voice, but now nah, file doesn't exist or has been corrupted. So, there are a lot of things here that are good with the ROM. There are a lot of things that are bad with the ROM. If you think you can get over that, then this ROM might just be for you. So, HyperOS 3. We've been waiting for this for a while and it's actually good. Let me connect to the internet so that we can play something else. Probably go to youtube.com and then you see that the audio actually works. I installed it a few seconds ago. Just wanted to check it out to see what it's like. I've not done an actual in depth thing yet, but you can see it's version 3.73 and it's out. Based on Android 16, blah blah blah. And then that looks about. So it's out. We can finally you know, chill with the big boys. I don't know what that but have always done. Alright, so on the screen now I'm going to put up the list of bugs so that you can see them and judge for yourself if it's worth it to continue using it or not. Oh well, so that's about that and uh well with all that, I believe I've covered what I feel needs to be covered. You can install it if you want to and check out more things. If you find out more bugs, please let me know. There is another custom ROM, HyperOS based, that I also want to install called NextOS. See you then.